Paul Erdos was a Hungarian mathematician, one of the greatest of the 20th century, and in terms of number of publications, the most prolific in history. He's the subject of today's video, Paul Erdos. Paul Erdos was born in Budapest in 1913. Both his parents were mathematics teachers and he showed an outstanding maths ability even as a young child. When he was only four, if he was given a person's age, he could work out in his head how many seconds they'd lived. He entered the University of Budapest when he was 17. As the danger to Jews in Europe increased in the pre-war years, he left Hungary for the United States. At the age of 20, Erdos discovered an elegant new proof of a famous theorem in number theory, known as Bertram's theorem, which states that for each number greater than one, there's always at least one prime number between it and its double. Number theory remained one of his chief interests, though his work spread across many fields, and he became renowned for posing and solving problems that were often simple to state, but notoriously difficult to solve. He did groundbreaking work in a branch of mathematics known as Ramsey theory, long before it became fashionable in the late 1950s. But primarily, he was a presenter and solver of problems, rather than an explorer of new mathematics. In terms of publications, he was the most prolific mathematician in history, beating even Leonard Euler and inspiring the term Erdos number, which was coined by his friend and collaborator, Ronald Graham. A mathematician has an Erdos number of one if he or she has published a paper with Erdos, of two if he or she has published with someone who has published a paper with Erdos, and so on. Erdos worked almost non-stop, 19 hours a day, seven days a week, and he used copious amounts of caffeine and other stimulants to keep himself sharp and awake. He was one of the most eccentric characters in mathematics. He had no time for the material side of life. Property is a nuisance, he said. Focused totally on mathematics, Erdos travelled from one meeting, symposium or lecture to the next, carrying a battered suitcase containing most of his possessions and staying with mathematicians wherever he went. His colleagues took care of him, lent him money, fed him, bought him clothes and even did his taxes. In return, he showered them with ideas and challenges, with problems to be solved and brilliant ways of attacking them. Erdos died in 1996 while attending a conference in Warsaw. Ernst Strauss, who worked with both Albert Einstein and Erdos, wrote a tribute to Erdos shortly before his own death in 1983. He said of Erdos, In our century, in which mathematics is so strongly dominated by theory doctors, he has remained the prince of problem solvers and the absolute monarch of problem poses. Thanks for watching. Uh, you'll find lots of other videos on famous mathematicians on this channel, so check those out too. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.